channel, you know that it's the silly little details that I get caught up in sometimes. And I don't know how easy it's going to be to tell on camera here, but I finally got the bloody right color pickguard that matches these pickup covers. It's the same color. Now the poker chip I had was also the wrong color, so I just went back to this black one for now. But yeah, I got these first for my friend, Richard, who brings all the guitars through here. And today, he came, he's like, oh, I got a bunch of parts to search for my parts, look what I found. I'm like, yeah, buddy, yeah, you did. But that's it. But the, here's the point of this, the, the reason I'm making this video. The reason I'm making this vi video is because it began to occur to me after I did this, I wasn't even going to film this. I mean, this just seemed so trivial, it didn't even seem worth filming. But, I guess, I guess it, it's maybe not as trivial as I thought. So, uh, let me take you downstairs and tell, show you what I'm on about here. Alright, so I'm not super keen to <laughs> remove this, but essentially I had to fill a hole that was just slightly out of alignment with where this actual Gibson part fits. Now thankfully, I have some experience installing these, so I sort of knew where this one should be roughly anyway, and I kind of thought ahead of that, but these seem to be in the same sort of spot. Anyway, this part fits well, but here's what, here's what it brings to mind. So. Here's the deal. If you're if you're a Gibson guy and you've done any Gibson mods, you know these parts, right? Like these parts are expensive. Like very expensive. So to buy like a pick guard like this, this could cost you 25, 30 bucks for this. If you go to buy these, these are like $22, $23. They're just they're so expensive, these Gibson parts, but they fit properly, right? <laughs> Like, they actually fit properly, but here's the deal, like, these are plastic parts. I mean, you know, you run into this in the auto industry for sure, you know, like aftermarket parts that don't necessarily fit properly, like, oh, see guys complaining about panel fitment and that sort of thing, you have to massage parts to fit properly. Now, I have to admit, this one fit pretty good, and you wouldn't have known otherwise, but you can see that it's not... Like, it's not in the same place. So it's not exactly quite exactly the same dimensions. It's just slightly out everywhere. It's just slightly not the same everywhere. And it looks almost exactly the same, but it's not. Now, that's not a real big deal, but <laughs> what I can't work out is how, how why is it so hard for people like all parts? Because that's an all parts pick art. This is all parts. So whoever all parts contracts in China to make these parts, because surely that's where they're made. <laughs> like, is it is it that Gibson prevents them from making the part exactly the same? Is that what's going on? Does anyone really know? That's why I'm making this video. I'm curious. Because none of these parts, none of these aftermarket parts ever fit properly. And they're always way cheaper. Like this, this was six or seven bucks. I don't know. Like this was cheap. I can't exactly remember, but it was super cheap in comparison to this one. And this, we, we bought the wrong one first time around. We bought one for humbuckers. That was the right color. It is the right, it's the same color. It's exactly the same color of cream as is this new one. But this is like, that's a totally different shade. And this, yet still, I don't know how, how, how easy that's going to be to see on camera, but that's just even still yet a completely different shade than both of them. So for a while I have three different shades of cream on, and it was just driving me crazy. It's just been driving me absolutely mad, and I'm just that kind of person. If something doesn't look right, sorry about my fingerprints. Yeah, this thing fingerprints. This, I don't like this. I'm not a big fan of this rub down finish. Not my fave. But anyway, yeah, so... Does anybody know why these parts are like slightly different shades and slightly different tolerances? Like, how hard is it to take... <sighs> you know what I mean? Like, I've made these myself where I take them off and I, and I cut out a piece out of wood and it, it's exactly the same shape and dimensions so presumably 
However they get the measurements for these things, whether they've taken it from an original part, like they can't be just making this up, right? I mean, surely at some point, somewhere down the line, an original part has been scanned or measured or something, and they've produced this part out of it. But the tolerances are way different, and it's, it's happened to me every time. So, anyone know why that is? Like, why these are all slightly different? And why Gibson gets away with charging so much for plastic parts? I'm curious. Anyway, back with a cool video soon. My buddy brought his uh, Strat back. Um, actually, we're going to install one meg pots in there. Uh, it, those came with one meg pots, and he wants to try them, so that'll be next video. But yeah, for now, that was... So I was kind of curious about that, and uh, I'd appreciate if anybody knew if you told us. All right. So thanks, everyone. Happy Friday. Catch up with you dudes.